Hey guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. I hope you're doing well. In this video, we'll be going over how to complete the, or how to get the Savior Dawn Seal. Now, there's 28 triumphs in total. And yeah, we'll break down how to get it. Of course, you have to get the badge. You have to do a lot of stuff in the sundial, stuff like that. But we'll be breaking down how to get everything a little bit quicker, all that stuff. And please, if you do not mind, Hit that subscribe button and like button. I want to hit at least 1,000 subscribers before 2021. I know that's a long way away, but I really would appreciate you guys if you could help me support. I'm not really good with YouTube and all that stuff. This will probably be my for almost first year, almost a whole year on YouTube, and I still am getting used to it. But I would love you guys to have give me your support. I hope you guys do enjoy this video, and let's get on to it. So, for the first triumph for the seal is to get the badge. This includes the exotics, sundial weapons, ritual weapons, emblems, the season pass, armor sets, shaders, and a ghost shell. So, let's just break down how to get these items. So, for the Bastion, Sedimentary, and Devil's Rune, the Bastion and Devil's Rune are exotic items, exotic quest, of course, if you want me to say that. They will come out around in January, so as of right now, they do not didn't come out yet. But again, there will be simple quests that you can just bang out really on the spot. So again, Devil's Run is pretty easy, and it's going to be pretty simple. I made a video on leak quest steps, but it's only going to have like three to two. And Bastion is kind of long, but it's pretty easy. Kind of a little bit complicated at the end, but it's not as of difficult as devil's room but again these quests are gonna be pretty simple i'm being honest so you don't need to worry about those two exotic quests until they come out of course i will make a video i'll link it in the description when that comes out and then later other youtubers will too if you want to check them out then the sedimentary is the season pass exotic so if you hit rank one then you get it automatically or if you didn't buy the season pass just wait till rank 35 and you can get that there so for the sundial weapons now for these you need to rank up each obelisk to the sundial of course there's a whole thing on there i'll link some helpful guides down below if you want to check them out but for the auto rifle and sidearm you will need to link the tangle chore obelisk of course that will be that's actually the first part of the quest unlocking the sundial and everything so you both will have those weapons accessible after that for the scout rifle, you need to uh, link up the Ness's Obelisk, so just that weapon. For the Linear Fusion Rifle and Grenade Launcher, you will need to link up the Mars Obelisk. And then for the Fusion Rifle, you need to link up the EDZ Obelisk. You just need those weapons, of course, everything else you don't need from the Sundial. For the Ritual Weapons, of course, the Buzzard, Python, and Komodo. Of course, there's a lot of stuff that you could use. Of course, Komodo, you just go with in the Crystal with Arbos. I will link my friend's Jar video down below if you want to check him out. He makes fab amazing, helpful guides on these. So he will give you some helpful guides on how to get both of these three weapons, Ritual Weapons this season, all quick. So please go check him out if you haven't already. He's a great YouTuber. Please do so. So yeah, he will go through the Buzzard, Python, and Komodo, how to get all those weapons really quickly. Now for the Season Pass armor set, of course, if you buy the Season Pass on rank 1, you get it automatically. Of course, I think you, I think they actually offer some of the Season Pass armor sets later if you don't buy the Season Pass. But basically, if you want to get this whole armor set without doing any grinding, just buy the Season Pass and you will get it. So... Then for the shaders and the emblems, now they both have three, they're both simple quests, they're not very difficult, it might take you a while, but of course you get the shader and then you get an emblem, so there's one shader for Gambit, one shader for Vanguard, one for Crucible, one for em one Crucible emblem, etc, you know the whole thing. Of course they will ask you simple quests on getting kills and stuff, that will be pretty simple, it won't take as long course there will be helpful videos if you want to check them out but don't worry much about that those will be really easy simple quests the time swept shell now this is a cool shell cool ghost shell you will need to rank up all together obelisk all the obelisks 
to fo rank 40. Well, technically, after rank 11 and 12, right? You don't get any rewards after that. It just stops. But you will need to rank up all the obelisks all together to rank 40. So you could just get each obelisk to rank 10 and you get this shell. You need to rank up all together to rank 40. So rank, you need to just rank up any obelisk up to rank 40. So that's, I, I said it in a weird way. I'm sorry if that confuses you, but just, um, yeah, just get an obelisk to rank 10 and just do that to every obelisk and you'll have that all set. So yeah, 40 all together. Sorry if I made that confusing. But yeah, that's the whole badge, basically. So you don't need anything after that, anything other than this. And yeah, so that will be the badge. So the next triumph is, of course, the EDZ. Increase any rank of the EDZ obelisk to, of course, rank 10. So you will need to rank up your EDZ Tango Tour Mars and Ness's obelisk to rank 10 in total. There will be some minor rewards when you hit rank 1 rank 3 rank 5 and then rank 10 of course this these four triumphs actually act as four separate so of course it's pretty it's kind of strange but pretend if a triumph is like again triumph is one triumph but this is kind of like minor triumphs in one so it's gonna be four triumphs in total for these four so that is in total of 12 triumphs Basically, so just rank up your EDZ Mars Tango Tour Ness's Obelisk to rank 10, of course, to each, and you'll have all those four triumphs done. For one of the triumphs I was saying earlier, for the badge, increase the resonant rank of any Obelisk to rank 40. Of course, I will get you the time swept shell, which is required in the badge. So, again, rank up each Obelisk to rank 10. That's all you need to do to get that triumph and get the ghost shell. Repair each of the fracture wings found on the tower obelisk. Of course, that's pretty easy. You just have to do one time loss weapon frame from each obelisk to then pair all the obelisks together in the tower. So it's easier than going to each planet and getting all the bounties and stuff like that. So that'll be pretty easy for you guys to do. Save same 14 from the infinite force. You have to do two. You have to do corridors of time part two. You have to finish both of those two quest lines to save him. So that will get you a lot of fractal line actually too. Defeat each of the Scion flares found within the sundial. So you have to play the sundial at least once each week. They get the arc solar and void boss. And yeah, that's pretty easy. That will get you that triumph done. You would have to defeat Isma. Sorry, if I said the name wrong. I'm sorry, guys. This is one of the hidden bosses that will be coming out in beginning of February. I do. It's going to be just the, probably the same boss, so there might be some little twist to it. A lot of YouTubers will probably make videos when this comes out. Of course, we don't know what is going to happen yet, but again, it just says we have to defeat a Scion, so I'm not sure if this will be in the Heroic version. We do not know what will happen at that point but again we will find out when that happens so that is asking to defeat that other boss the last fourth boss complete the sundial within a set amount of time with this just get a group together i think it's the most better time to just get a whole fire team going anything like the destiny 2 companion app or anything like that or you could play Heroic Menagerie, not Menagerie, hero the Heroic version of the Sundial when that comes out. Of course, you can do that. I feel like getting a good whole six-player team with communication, then you can get all this. You can just beat the Sundial every time with a set amount of time left on each encounter, which I think is a better, better time of doing that. So please and please do that. Get a whole six-player team. Uh, six team together for that six fire team player thing all right so complete a run of the sundial without dying of course just try not to die don't try to intend of going in and like killing the boss or killing enemies just stay back unless you want to go and kill stuff just try not to die that's pretty simple uh again defeat that other boss on a legend difficulty or higher so this is probably going to be that higher legend you know heroic version of the sundial of course get a six player team going there and you can get that triumph done too complete the new this will be a event happening in february and light the beacon so we don't know what will happen 
there yet i will make a video a lot of other youtubers will probably make videos on how to get this so of course we people will probably bang that out so yet we don't know what that will intend so but it's gonna involve donating some fractaline so remember to do try to grind up try to save in a lot of fractaline and stuff like that Travel to the Twilight Gap and collect materials to repair Devil's Rune. Of course, this is the triumph that will pair up when the Devil's Rune come out. So that's kind of like the exotic. And the last one is Bath. Collect materials to repair Devil's Rune. Of course, this is the triumph that will pair up when the Devil's Rune come out. So that's kind of like the exotic. And the last one is Bastion. Acquire the exotic fusion rifle Bastion. So those two last triumphs are just getting the exotics. So it doesn't seem... It might seem long, but... I narrowed it down for you guys. This is how to get the whole seal going. I feel like it will take some time, but remember, like, defeat each of the Sun Flares found within each. The, like, that will be, like, time-gated, so you would have to wait till another week, another week, and, like, three weeks in total. It's going to be kind of a little bit difficult. Like, the new boss that's coming out in February, we don't know anything about that yet, so we don't, we don't know what's going to happen when that comes out. But again, I will make some videos other YouTubers will probably do too on how to complete that triumph. Of course, don't die. The February event, we don't know what's going to happen there. So it will you will need to donate Fractaline, but we don't know what will happen yet. So I'll make a video. So what other YouTubers do, the Devil's Ruin and Bastion. There will be tutorials on how to get those weapons. Yeah, it doesn't seem that difficult, you know. Yeah, that's pretty much how to get the seal. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Subscribe and like. It would really mean a lot to the channel. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the home, all the support we've been getting on the channel. It really means a lot. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.